What's up? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be making a hyper pop beat with a guitar loop. At Chance and Beats, what's up? He just sent over some guitar loops. I'm going to pick one of these and make a beat out of it. So let's start at the top. Hmm, I like that one. All right, we're going with the emotions loop. Let's go. Let me pull up Chaboy Ableton Live. The reason why you see this in every single video is it's a template I use. Work smarter, not harder, baby. These first seven on here are just empty samplers. It's got like the hi-hats programmed in and the clap programmed in, but there's like nothing on there. And then these last four on here are just serum. I do that so I don't have to keep adding like new instruments every single time I wanna add a new idea. It's like already there. Super helpful, 10 out of 10, would recommend. I'm gonna start by copying that bass he put in. All right, and then it goes like legato, and let's get a good bass sound on there. I'm gonna see if I've got something in that pack that I've been working on that would work well with this. I'm already thinking the intro, so let's put a filter on that. So for the guitar, I wanna put some effects on there, kinda like washi and uh, high passed. So I'm gonna use the drip plugin. Bro, that's so perfect. I love how washed out that sounds. I have an idea for the intro. I wanna do like kind of random sounding plucks. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is kind of throw paint at the wall and see what sticks. Just spent some time coming up with something and here's what that looks like. It's not random, but it kind of sounds like it. Displacing the downbeat. This is by a lot, this is by a little. Doing stuff like this where it's just slightly off by like a 16th. And I'm gonna go find a pluck that works for that now. Oh, what if I use the pluck I made today? I think I called it Playground. Okay, I like that one. That one is called Playground. Um, whenever I release that pack, <laughs> that's the one it is. Now it's gonna be time to work on like the drop or chorus section. I'm gonna do the same thing I usually do and I'm gonna use the Son Holo 8081 and I'm just gonna copy that bass line in there. This is a Ableton tip, but it could apply to other DAWs. If you have like a tuner like this, there's a button that lets you switch to Hertz and that shows you the frequency of the fundamental. So that's important because human ears can only hear down to like around 20 hertz. That's not always the best idea when you're making music to go that low because it's more like a feeling and it's like a really muddy feeling. It's great if you're trying to make a suspenseful sound in like a movie, but I wouldn't really recommend it for making music. A good reference to keep in mind is I think like around 30. Don't quote me on that, <laughs> but that's what I usually do. How about this for the 808? Next thing I'm gonna put in here is some hi-hats. I'm doing a bit more busy hi-hats on this one. Time to add in like a clap or a snare or something like that. Need something. All right, let's use that one. And I'm also gonna pair it with like a hip hop snare. Ooh, I actually like that one. I know it's a bit different. I want to have like a really dirty kick on this one. Like it sounds like a stomp. And I think I know where to go for that one. There's this pack by Producer Grind that is called the Chicken Sandwich Drum Kit. And I always thought that was so funny. It's all like uh, uh, food themed, which is kind of fun. Not sponsored. All right, so let's hear how that sounds. I'm actually feeling like this is a bit too fast. Let's slow it down to like 160. Normally, if I have like an 808 and a kick, I usually have them hit at the same time, but this time I'm gonna try something else. I know I talked for a bit about the 808, but it's not working for me. It needs to be more uh, hyper pop than hip hop. Sometimes you just gotta scrap everything. So I'm just gonna focus on the kick for this one and I'm just gonna hit like very few times. And I think it's gonna follow more like the offbeat synth. All 
Okay, I'm just gonna grab the roots and then I'm gonna paste that here into my new base and I want it to be short, so I'm just gonna go like that. And I'm gonna copy in the kick to make sure it's like in time with what the kick's doing. It's getting somewhere, it's getting somewhere. I wanna add in something unique. It's gotta sound, un oh wait, you know what? Let's hear it with the guitar now. It doesn't fit yet with the guitar, but I'm not giving up on the guitar yet. All right, so this is what I've got so far after putting a ton of effects on this and chopping it up, repitching it. That's all I can do for today. I'm gonna go ahead and save this and be back in a second. Okay, so it's the next day, super crunched on time. I have, I'm looking at the clock, 25 minutes. It's gonna be a make a beat in under 25 minutes video, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna be hitting the road soon and I need a pack. That's what we're doing with this beat. It means the video is gonna... Back where we left off was working on this chorus section into like a bridge or a verse. I was really afraid when I was working on this that I would wake up today and think like, oh man, that's not it, that's not it. And like, feel like I need to restart it and everything, especially because I don't have that much time. But I listened back and I really liked the way it sounds. Right now, I'm gonna work on this little bridge section in the red. Yeah, I like it, I like it, I like it. I'm gonna have to roll with like the first ideas that come to my head and I'm thinking uh, like a drum set but like low pass and a bit of distortion on there. Okay, I'm actually gonna chop this up. Ooh, I have an idea. I wanna stretch this last hit so it sounds really grainy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna process this a little bit, bring out some of the high in there with an OTT, and then like come at it with a EQ. That sounds good to me. I wanna add in like a pluck in here to make it sound more continual, because right now it's just like A section, B section, no continuity. I've got an idea. I wanna use a pluck that I made yesterday. Oh, I called it Goomba, I think. Yeah, there we go. It's just like a really simple sounding saw wave type pluck, but it's like very nice to have it immediately available to just do something like this. I wanna do like a glitch effect on this, like a stutter effect. And we're doing another classic move, whipping out Rick 20. Mm, okay. Ideas, ideas. I'm thinking like a whip transition, like a really loud whoosh. All right, that one is so extra, but we're gonna do it. Uh, not a fan of that processing on the low guitar. I'm gonna do the classic KB drip, and I think there's one on here that I really like. Turn around. Uh, I'm gonna use that 808 that I left over because it's so low key. You can probably hear the 808 through the whole thing. All right, I've got four minutes left. I'm just gonna add in some like symbol stuff to kind of transition back into that A section. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, I'm just pacing the drop two over here. I might even add in like just a small element to make it a little bit different. But besides that, uh, I think we're pretty good. I'll keep working. I've got two minutes left. I found this vocal that I had downloaded. It's a B minor and I, I remember right, we were in G sharp minor, which is one, two, three down. Let's try to make this fit real quick. Okay, 
Awesome. All right. So I just spent a lot of time working on this. I even went six minutes over, but I was really in the mood and the ideas were flowing. So I didn't want to stop quickly. What I did, I did like a little headbanger symbol over here. And then the vocal I added, here's the file name if you want to find it on Splice. I just put like a delay on that from the left and right ears and then like a OTT. I just wanted to get a good sound out of that real quick. I changed up the intro bass a little. All right, so I'm just going to change a couple things and play the beat for you in a second. If you like the video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe too. It means a lot and I'm super excited that the channel just hit 300 subscribers. A big thank you for me for that. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. All right, so I just wanted to say one thing real quick. I just released some music with a friend and you should go check it out after this video. The link will be in the description. Thanks again for watching.